Speak with the information broker at peak. Fine. Teleport there. Well, as close as we can get, at least. I think the body and Nyoko were the other two. Yeah, Nyoko is one of them. Oh, it was uh, Nyoko or Ellie, and then I think it might have been Pavati or Vigamax. If I recall rightly. Which of these ways is actually the one up? That one. With all these winding paths, I have to check the actual overmaps so many times. Something like that rings a bell? Perfect. As soon as I hear jowls fly back and forth, I know it's crouch time. Whoop. Marauders. Alright, I may as well actually try out my new weapon. What's its damage per shot now? 92 versus... Yeah, no. It's definitely just hunting rifle to finish these off easily. I should be using TTD more. For some reason, like... I constantly get this moment of... Ooh... Like, almost prideful, oh, I could actually just snipe them naturally, and then, ha ha ha. But that's always what results in warning shots. I might as well just embrace that FPSs aren't my thing. <laughs> and, and play it like a point and click, effectively, at that right? Terry big. Piecemeal mining, no, don't need that. Confirmant again, don't need that. Purple blue wine, don't need that. So much loot here I desperately do not need. TTD gives you a damage boost too, right, from a perk? Uh, does it? I don't think I have any perks currently unlocked that give me a damage bonus in TTD. TTD restored per kill. Health restored per kill. No, I have nothing like that. I am making sure that I am uh, in withdrawal at all times to get my 20% extra damage. You thought it was a tier 3? Plus 20% damage when I'm hard fully combat affected, 100% carrying capacity. Next attack after killing an enemy is guaranteed critical hit, and headshot seal 25% of their damage to enemies within 2.5. Uh, I don't think I've seen anything here that's like better TTD stuff. Plus 75% movement during TTD? It's the only one that's... Even, like, strongly TTD affected. Another Mega Manta Queen down there. It's not even a longer path that I need to take. Let's peace out of that, then. I'm hoping that this is kind of like a Mr. Universe situation. Was that his name? You know, the guy who played the main character on Numbers, the TV show? Uh, their role in, uh, Serenity. I think it was, uh, it was, it was definitely Can't Stop the Signal, but I, I think it was Mr. Universe. Can't remember his name. Movement up in TTD is ridiculous in melee builds. I can only imagine. The fact that you already have, like, a gap closer in the, the dash makes it really appealing. Because usually that's my largest problem with games where like a large amount of my, uh, a large amount of your enemies are ranged, but you want to do a melee build. Being able to close the gap just with that little jump, honestly, is so much. It helps ridiculously. These, thank you. Jumped around like a madman and it was fun. Yup. Can agree for the very small amount of time I have spent in my second file that has a melee character. Don't want to go up there yet. Oh no. How the hell did Marauders navigate the cavern? Oh, scrap mechanicals. Okay, so this person's just being besieged. That's probably like an N-ray mine over there. Which also reminds me. 
I should probably keep an eye out for mines. Fine, I'll go into TTD so I can actually farm enemies. Thankfully, we have the shock, so the scrap mechanicals immediately die. No need to concern myself with them even slightly. That's a warning shot. And that's a warning to everyone else shot. Would like some more loot diversity. Weapon damage check time. It's, it's still one-shotting enemies. I'll repair it in a bit. It is using a lot of my weapon parts in order to consistently repair that, so I am a little concerned about how I am going to continue to fund that. There's like 23 each time, which is 10 scrapped weapons for me. Or something near, at least. I consider the perk that makes stuff degrade slower. It's pretty good. How much slower? 25%. Hmm. Maybe. Oh. Nice work. I love how completely oblivious they are. But my stealth skill is just too high. And just keep coming down into the clearing. I'm even gonna blow up the. Damn it! That was supposed to work perfectly. It would have been better off just actually shooting. The killing fields? Yeah, the, I mean, they are kind of just running into a thresher. Alright, let's continue. Make sure that we've got all the loot before we go in. Hiram must have sealed the door. He's... he spooks easy. Bunch of loot we don't need at all. Fine. And there's not an ability to jump around for extra stuff. Cool. Let's go in. Weirdly, that made the sound of unlocking, despite not being able to unlock. I imagine that door will be open in the future then. You may not realize this, being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the secret is on lockdown. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. We're hunting marauders. Score one for Felix. Seems to have worked. Hopefully, the loot is at least worthwhile here. Shock cannon ultra. If I was going heavy weapons, I suspect that would be worthwhile. Claw rank, Sentry Saber 2, Trip Blade, no. Tactic Shotgun, yeah. Pretty much nothing worthwhile, I don't think. Ooh, Mag to Melt, Damage Type Corrosion. I want one of those. I want one of those desperately. Sell for the junk as well. Here's the elevator, but ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Okay. Well, I am very, very pleased to have decent lockpick at this point. Because this looks valuable at the absolute least with this thing inside. Memorandum. Environmental controls, insulation, and keycard. <sighs> voice. Voice. Barb. 
the new environmental controls terminal is now installed and running upstairs. Congratulations, you messed corporate around it. <laughs> Manage it. Consider this your official notice to hide its access key card deep in the bottom of a drawer somewhere, preferably in the archives or another one of the station's other popular sections. Because I sure as hell will not allow our station's efficiency scores to plummet de low, uh, due to a pointless safety feature. Don't even think about testing the system out. The emergency sirens will make your ears bleed. And if you trigger the fire suppression system, it could suck the air out of the room faster than the station's last performance review. Val. How should I make a two-handed melee build? Strength or temp? Uh, strength and temp or strength and dex or strength and int? Uh, I don't know, frankly. I, I have not enough experience with the two-handed melee build that I was doing on the off, uh, off camera. Devil's Peak environmental controls keycard. Was hidden perfectly. Who could possibly have found it? Elite troop armor as well. Hang on. Does it look any good? Ugh. It's garbage. You want strength and perception to have decent lock kick? You, you'd think Dex. Does Dex have lock pick on it? It does. Okay. At the absolute least, you get a little bit of a boost to that. Nothing else in there to go for. Fine. Engine rooms. It gives you crit damage, which is crazy necessary. Yeah, that is that is one thing that I'm very very uh, happy about in my build. I was trying to just make a characterful person, uh, but I accidentally happened to get long guns, persuade, hack, medical, and science, and crit damage all on a character who was bound to be a sniper. So it was very, very, very lucky that I actually decided to go int rather than like strong perception for this build. Alright, fine, we'll talk. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, she hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders? Running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. I need to see the information broker about. I mean, dot dot dot. I'm gonna wait out. Say nothing. I see why Neoka tolerates you. Fine, I'll do the talking. By the hand of faith and my own cunning skill, I run this station. The Marauders may have other plans, and since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I have need of you. As my newest contractor, you may call me the Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the Broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you... I'm trying to get your nickname started. Why me? You're here, and you're armed, aren't you? The feed's gone grainy, but it looks like you're packing deadly force. I know Nioka is, for sure. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. How many marauders broke into the station? What's in it for me? Uh, I'd, I'd recommend going for defense block for a uh, melee build, but also the, the little plus one doesn't really matter at all. If there's, I, there might be one that's like plus 3% to melee weapon damage, and if there is, take that. How many Marauders broke into the station? What's in it for me, first? Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job, permanently. Alright, what's in it for me? Aside from the bits I'll be paying you? Yes. I trade in secrets, valuable ones for my vocation. I'm sure you can come up with something you might like to ask me about in person once I'm safe. All right, then. Let's uh, quickly check if we have a teleport to where we currently are. That is to say the top of this. We don't. Oh, no, we, we do have a teleport to Devil's Peak Summit. Good. I can't fast travel from this location, though, so... 
Let's find a way to make our way out of here. Then teleport back down and tell them that we actually need help clearing out the Marauders. Might as well, no need for me to get all of my own hands dirty. It's literally their job. Machine assault rifle, fine. Frankly, I'd be putting them out of job if it, uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I go back down and ask them. Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. Wait. Do I have to do it now? Elevators to your right. You could have gotten me good, bud. You really could have. We're too busy with the bog. Sorry for that to be the way you die. I'm gonna uh, zhuzh it up before I give them the obituary. All right, Sydney, you picked up something that might help you get your hands not dirty. Something might help you get your hands not dirty. Something might help you get your hands not dirty. Something might help you get your hands not dirty. Something might help you get my hands not dirty. Devil's Peak Environmental Controls Keycard. The Environmental Controls Terminal in Devil Peak Station. Yeah, which is going to give me the ability to probably kill everyone almost passively. So where's the Environmental Control Station? Mechanical Guardian. Ooh, Mechanical Guardian's to set back up. Joy Vavode? Hudson. Nice work. You got a real talent for murder, stranger. Color me impressed. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small. All right. Uh, what are you waiting for? Help me to kill these marauders. You mean the ones still inside? Wish I could, but we play it by the book. You want help? Bertolt's the one to ask. Fair enough. Uh, what do I find them? See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. Hey, I'm off. But honestly, I think I'm just going to go back into the building. I also have way too much ammunition. I cannot wait to actually try a playthrough of this in, uh, like a full playthrough of this in Supernova. I also hope that they, you know, do a significant amount of DLC for this game because I'd very much like to do a YouTube series of this game as well. As in, like, a sincere, exclusively YouTube one. Checked that. Let's go to the elevators. Please, sir, I'd like some more. I, I would I would love it. I, uh, this is actually my delayed response to a question you asked much earlier in the stream, silly. These more content obsidian? Yeah, I, I also really want to do the, the Fallout New Vegas one now. Like, I've always wanted to do it, but I, I want to do the Fallout New Vegas let's, let's ethical, let's moral, let's philosophy, something like that. Although I'd probably want to get, like, much, much, much more familiar with, like, explicit terminology for philosophical concepts before I do stuff like that. Because it's more uh, on a philosophical rather than a political bent. Obviously delves into each, though. Noise. Incoming! I'm walking away. I'm awful at video games. <laughs> eh, Felix has got it. It's fine. This one doesn't even know. Oh my god, really? Felix? <laughs> oh, that one was perfect. You see that? Felix got it? What do you mean Felix don't got it? Felix wrecked him. Damn near killed him. Uh, okay, Ultra again. Yeah, I, I do wish there was more weapon diversity. I, I mean, there should be a significant amount of hope for, like, a gun runner's arsenal kind of thing, like they did with Fallout New Vegas. 
Why did he get shocked by the kick? Problem status? Uh, no, he didn't get shocked. I think uh, Felix would have shocked them because he has uh, electroplated armor. Strap's considering doing an FMB playthrough. I've done multiple in the past. It's just I'm considering. I am eternally always considering one for the the YouTube. Atmospheric controls. Okay. Uh, environmental sensors status. All sensors currently indicate a standard level range, including temperature and chemical composition throughout the station. Deploy fire suppressant systems in the main hall or activate station fire alarm. Fire suppressant systems immediately. Remove all oxygen from the chamber. Please ensure no personnel, uh, that all personnel have been safely evacuated prior. Yep. I mean, will this just kill the enemies that were in that room, That's which is none of them? Think. If you do an ethical playthrough research, mind sharing your sources so we can follow along? Definitely. In the case that I end up doing that, absolutely definitely. That gets everyone in the station? Okay, good. Anything else? Auto mechanical controls. Request for auto mechanical security and assistance installation. Time submitted was ooh, way long ago. And it's still waiting a response from Byzantium. Makes sense. Revolver Mark II, as well as some stuff I don't need. Fine. I'm assuming there's not going to be that much to loot in the main room. Maybe a flawed assumption, TBH. Although, yeah, like the loot at this point is very samey. Inclement weather warning, uh, severe regional alert, sorry, revere seasonal alert, uh, regional severe alert, there we go. Next 72 hours, chance of thunderstorms and severe thunderstorms, including lightning strikes forecast across the mountain region. Messages uh, from Ramsey, from Avoyer, from Ramsey. I don't think I know Ramsey yet, at least. Val. Okay, never mind. I have seen one message from Ramsey earlier. Uh, from V Ramsey to iBroker. Emergency protocols. As I stated in my prior four messages, there's simply no cause for alarm. I swear to you, Hiram, the situation is under control. What you call a near emergency, I would consider a non-event. Yes, a high energy transmission was used for far too lengthy a period of time. And yes, the generators cannot safely support that activity. Yes, and yes, they could have been damaged under that load. But the point remains, nothing happened. We caught the issue in time. The engineers involved have been reprimanded. I swear on my mama's grave, it won't happen again. Now, please cease contacting me for the daily updates on the status of the generators. Val. Uh, message logs. What in the black hole were you thinking, Val? At some point, space efficiency becomes the inverse to time efficiency and one negates the other. I mean, what? How am I supposed to do my morning business when the toilets are directly facing the open showers? You might like watching fellow scrubs wiggle their jigglies when you're taking a steaming dump, but I don't. Sincerely, thanks for the peep show. Not really. That was sarcasm, Theodore. On the contrary, Theo, not only is it a spatially efficient design, but it also encourages simultaneous users to hurry their business. Don't like, don't look, or speed it up, move on. After all, the faster you get back to your station, the happier you will all be. Warmest regards, Val. Alright, information broker. Where are you? Or rather, Hiram. Let's just constantly say Hiram if we get the ability in chat. Hunting. Oh! No, wait. I already have a hunting rifle ultra. Why am I still so interested in them? Uh, this one does need to be upgraded, though, or rather repaired. Very glad that I have my engineering high enough at the absolute least to do that. It seems like there are a couple of things for this character. Well, not this character, but characters in general, right? Uh, that you want to get a couple of levels in. Like, it feels like like you need Tinker, right? So you need science to be at least 20, naturally. Uh, field repair is pretty, pretty impactful. So engineering at 20 is also pretty impactful. Giving your companions the special attacks by having 20 on this is also pretty important in inspiration. That seems about it, though. Up 
bits and move on. Hey, Hiram. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. My compliments on your improvised utilization of the fire suppressant system. I would expect nothing less from one of Neoka's associates. As usual, I'll take that as a compliment. Of course. This ought to square our debt. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why Neoka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Uh, you promise secrets? You're not an easy man to reach, quote unquote, broker. Uh, you know why I'm here. Can we continue our conversation with you to come now? That one. Uh, if you insist. As I was telling you before, I am the premier broker for all of Monarch. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Have you seen Doc Wells? The guy's ancient. You take any more time and he's liable to croak. I take offense to that. Look, okay. I was delayed by MSI and the Iconoclasts. The idiots were scrambling all transmissions to override each other's broadcasts. Hmm. But as you've shut them down, I'm back in business. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser and to the purchaser alone. Hmm. So am I going to have to purchase However, it? However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. We just skipped two of his missions. Huh. Game is classic. Can't wait for the remake. Really? I like it how it is. Also, Obsidian don't typically remake their games. Phineas doesn't trust that many people. How to hook up with you? Fine, tell me how to fix it. And I bet you have a whole checklist of crap to do before it works. I already did that, though. Phineas doesn't trust that many people. How do you hook up with you? You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose... Oh. Oh, apologies. You meant... Right. Yes. I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Oh, I love you. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. Ah, fine. Tell me how to fix it. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. That's it. You're not pulling my leg? Except it'll need three keys before it activates and I have to go find them, right? Eternal no. What is wrong with you? Who would ever design something like that? Perfect. However, you're welcome to brew me a Rizzo Insta Coffee from the staff kitchen on your way back. I Just hope that's an step optional outside, part of the quest. Flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we heard you the first time. Let's just get this over with. Got it. Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Won't be able to help, but... Flamethrower, a bit cartridge, Adreno, don't really care about any of this stuff. Pet pills, uh, pet pills are actually kind of important. Still need more for my mind stat stuff, and I actually kind of use those at a decent-ish rate. Okay, so we can already lockpick this easily. There's wow. no reason not to, it's not even Work. his stuff, really. Yoink and nose and terminal. Devil's Peak Station, authorized broadcaster. Select recorded transmissions for a listing of all scheduled incoming and outgoing broadcasts. To go live, please ask your producer to initiate broadcasting. Do not begin broadcasting without the supervision of a senior producer. Thank you, Val. Now a message from our sponsors. Tired of itchy acid burns? Try Annie Cleo's artisanal borst scented moisturizing cream. Arnie Cleo's. For when you... 
would like to consume. Already transmission logs, checking. Uh, station's primary band is operating with minimal signal interference. No outgoing transmissions remain broadcast. Begin broadcasting. Authorized broadcaster, don't even try to pretend you're unaware that all broadcasting is currently locked down. Please return to milling about in the break room or lamenting the, uh, lamenting that internship in corporate arbitration you never finished. Or, to override the lock-on recording, simply enter your admin uh, username and password in the command line. Oh, you can't? Maybe you should have been nice to devour. Yeah, that's password. Password in the command line. So, I'm guessing the password is A-S-S-W-O-R. Aswa? Because it's what's being censored there? There's no other reason to censor it. How long have you been streaming? Uh, how long are you streaming for, rather? Uh, I'm streaming for another hour. I've been streaming for four so far. Personal files. Personal files for Hiram Ble uh, Blythe, rather. Memorandum entitled Clear Blue Skies. Mood Optimistic. Dare I say, the future is looking bright. Indeed, I can run a full gamut of operations without ever having to leave the sanctuary of the broadcast room. Sanja and Graham are living up to their promises and have not interfered with the initial broadcasts. The deal is holding and I... I believe I can make a life here. Memorandum entitled Sneaky Sneaky Mood Sneaky. Had a near miss the other day. Nearly ended up on the board on my trail. We'll mark that trial firmly in the failure category. One last experiment, however, to ascertain the best methods. I have found thus far that the most reliable method of evading detection is within the limited frequency of Monarch's off-world transmissions involves duplicating regular news broadcasts on several unused frequencies. My information gathering associates now know to filter out the sounds in the vocal range, in turn isolating the embedded data. And the board's authorities are none the wiser. Playing Hazard has never been so thrilling. Nor high stakes. Memorandum entitled, Should Have Known, You'd Furious. Pox it all! Those, imbilici <laughs> Those imbecilic children in their hatred of another. Sanja and Graham have oversaturated my key bands. They'll take down each other all right and me alongside with them. Never should have invited them to play. But what to do about it now? What to do indeed? Already checked that one, already checked those, cool. Let's just leave as fast as we can now. Eh, triple A Mark II that I don't need. One of the best things about the file is that if you do a board play uh, playthrough, you find out that Hiram works with the board sometimes. Yeah, I, I wonder how many uh, characters change behind the scenes based on the choices that you make. I imagine not that many, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did significantly. Testing one, two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. Don't make me come back in there. There's no need to assert your dominance. I doubt I can make you do anything. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior, but I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. Boss, you seeing this? Uh-oh. Why do I feel like I've just entered a you can't turn you back from that? this scenario? Whose ship was that? The big old ball of fire? Nope, totally missed it. Whose ship is that? Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar! What are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hey, um, Hiram, right? You around? 
Talk it out. Talk it out. <laughs> also, Graham's dead. Graham's dead. Uh, will someone explain what's going on? Have you met Sanja, Zora, Zora, Sanja? Should I set out some tea? Captain, thank the Eternal. We could use your help. If by some miracle that ship's cannons are still operational, we need them. If they aren't, we still need to secure the ship. It's got to have all kinds of useful toys. That gunship is carrying some of the most powerful weaponry in Halcyon. You can't let the Iconoclast get their hands on it. You sure I can't? Surely we can talk this over. Ah, I see you learned nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. I've got hurt and starving people over here. Please, bring us the module. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel. I'm more than finished with you lot. Okay, uh, how is the targeting module going to help Zora? You've got sick and injured people. Cool. How that gonna help? Bev, can you give me the lowdown on what happened with Graham? Shot him in the head. His head spontaneously exploded for no reason whatsoever. It's a mystery to everyone. Hey, Raps, I hope you're having a better day than I am. I, uh... Uh, given that statement, I, I suppose I probably am. I'm sorry to hear it, though, Chill Ray. I hope your day turns around soon. Speaking of, though... Silly, thank you very much for the gift sub to Chill Ray. Much appreciated. Chill Ray and Jerry Remotes in chat and Walk in the Republic. It obviously had nothing to do with me. No, I was just staring very, very intensely at, uh, at Graham. And I, I managed to manifest latent the uh, latent telekinetic powers and I exploded his head. Oops. My bad, I guess. Small price to play to learn about my superpower. Should I go back inside? Yeah. So much for peace and quiet. Would it kill the universe to cut me some slack? And I don't see an Insta Coffee in your hand. About that ship. Yes, the one that crashed. I saw it on the security feed. A bit grainy, but an invigorating watch all the same. What about it? It was pretty wild, wasn't it? Us sharing the experience of seeing it crash like that? Where do you think it came from? Who do you think I should give the module to? Oh, never mind. I think I'm gonna go top down. Is this bonding? I'm. I'm not sure I like it. Next, you'll be asking me how I got the scar on my chin when I was 11. Was it running in and out of uh, the boys' bathroom, like, tagging the urinal, like, uh, like sprinting laps, and then you fell over as you were running in because you missed the step and opened your chin on the tiles? Because if it was, then you and I have that in common, bud. How'd you get it? You could barely see it. Most of it's underneath along my jaw, but yes, it seems to have faded with time. Moral of the story is... Never run with scissors. Where do you think the ship came from? The Vord has a blockade of gunships that patrol Monarch. Not a ton, mind you. Just enough to deter the masses. I am curious as to what downed it. A faulty part wouldn't be wholly unusual. The supply for new mechanicals is tight. Ugh, now I'll never sleep. Unsolved puzzles really torque my sprockets. If you find out what happened, sell me the info. Who do you think I should give the module to? I fear it's a sad day when you've resorted to asking me for advice. Sanjar's about as deadly as a spilled can of lead paint. If anyone's to aim a cannon at my face, I'd prefer it be him. But he'd never have the guts to defend Monarch if it came down to it. I don't know enough about Zora to make an adequate assessment, so you can bet I'm compiling a dossier on her now. From her pediatric records as a teething toddler to two hours ago. As I'm not the one with access to the artillery cannon, I reckon the decision's ultimately up to you. Thanks for the insight. Is that your polite way of telling me to get lost? It wasn't too polite. That wasn't helpful at all. If you're so worried about it, I could just give it to you. Mm, no. Uh, thanks for the insight. I'm quite useful from time to time, aren't I? You're welcome. Stop trying to earn I'm a bullet, a bud. I'm behind my left temple. What could be causing it? The glare from the terminal screen? 
or something else. It better be the glare from the terminal screen. You're an info broker. What's that? Is that a trick question? Because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. Of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for free. We'll call it an exchange for your help with the broadcast. Okay. Ask me what you will. Let's talk about the board. I'm curious about MSI and the Iconoclast. What can you tell me about Phine uh, Phineas? Have you received any broadcasts from Earth? That's enough gossip for now. I think I have enough information broadly about the board, MSI and the Iconoclasts. Not much about Phineas, not much about Earth. So I think it's down to those two. Is the Lost Hope from Earth? Because if it is, then this character would definitely ask about that. It is? It is. What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain one, that might be worth it for the right price. All right, then Phineas. Not much, admittedly. You must know something about him. I do know this much. There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you'd expect. If allegations are to be believed, the experiments he conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous and for self-gain. I am not convinced as to the validity of these allegations considering the source, but I am also not unconvinced either. Hmm. All right. I want to know, I want to ask about something else. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. A broker thereof as well. I'm curious about MSI and the Iconoclasts. They are a curious lot. Insufferable. And short-sighted too. What else do you wish to know? I'm curious as to Grand Bride's deep dark secrets. I could use some dirt on Sanjar. What's the story between MSI and the Iconoclasts? Yeah, let's go top down. Sanjar is not actually at fault for his past performance reviews, but he can keep hunting for loopholes to get back on the board for the next century. He'll never be reinstated. Not in his lifetime. For Nebula's sake, even with the loophole I gave him, He's only in charge of MSI because every other exec died during the massacre at Amber Heights. What do you mean? I gave Sanjar and Graham legal information that would allow MSI to own Terra One once the other corporations had abandoned the planet. Yeah. The execs had their concerns, but before the matter could be resolved, pirates raided their homes in the night. Did Sanjar know about that? Curious about Graham Bryant's deep dark secrets. Some say Graham suffers from nightmares that leave him sweat drenched and screaming. I would assume it stems from the friends and family he lost in Amber Heights all those years ago. What's the story between MSI and the Iconoclasts? You mean between MSI, the Iconoclasts, and myself? I bet neither of those megalomaniacs told you I was the true mastermind behind Monarch. Back when the colony was still Terra One and corporations were abandoning us left and right, I'm the one who approached Sanjar and Graham with the means to our salvation. I offered them a legal way to take control of the planet. If MSI were the only corporation here, they could claim sole ownership. So MSI would have to stay behind while the other corporations left, so you're the glue that brought them together and there was nothing in it for you, huh? That one. Even then, I applied my trade as an information broker, albeit in a smaller capacity. Of course, I demanded an exchange for the data. Thus, the bargain was struck. They could run MSI while I would operate Devil's Peak Station. Unfortunately, relations have soured over time. Why did the partnership fall apart? Competing ideologies. Graham believes Sanjar has become corrupted by the corporate lifestyle that he is now similar to the original corporate executives they sought to reform. And Sanjar has learned the hard way that Graham is quite morally... The hard great. way. Okay, so Sanjar knew, but hasn't told me. I'm going to go talk to Sanjar about it before I have any decisions made. Luckily. Uh, let's talk about the board. There are so many members. Do specify. I only know about Rockwell right now. Yeah, got any compromising information on Chairman? Chairman, Chairman, Chairman Rockwell. If you try to cite me on this, I will deny, deny, deny. Do you understand? What I am about to reveal is the sort of information that gets a body disappeared. Mm. 
MSI's ownership of Monarch is technically legal, but it would give MSI too much power on the board to grant them such status. So the chairman demonizes Monarch rather than welcome it back into the fault. Well, that's obvious. Exactly. But you didn't hear so much as a whisper of such from me. We'd heard that already. Like, literally arriving here, we were told the board is, uh, is lying about this place. All right. That's enough gossip for now. Hello, you seemingly regard my trade. You'd like to secure some information? I may have a secret for you. For the right exchange. Okay. Enough gossip for now. Give my regards to Phineas. Fine. Actually, I haven't visited Phineas in a very long time. I wonder if that's a great idea. That was told to you by Phineas, though? Was it told to me by Phineas? I thought, uh... I thought our character had some note of, like, had some, uh, some recognition of it, uh, as, as they arrived. I think in our conversation, maybe. Okay, I don't need to reset the station again. And we've already done the looting. Good. Time to bounce. Let's quickly go back down to the C3 barracks and talk to them. Seems like they might have something to say. What with securing the area. Hey, Berthold. Seems I've done your job for you. The station's clear. Wow. That was a bit presumptuous, don't you think? We were still debating as to whether we're contractually obligated to take out those marauders. And here, you've undercut us. We have an image to uphold. Our services are deservedly expensive. Now... I shall have to pay you so that future clients continue to recognize the value of our work. We'll just say you were a subcontractor. Yes, that'll do. We exercised our finest judgment in hiring you, you know? Extremely glad to hear, bud. Kind of wished I was going to get something more than six bits for that. Hey, uh, Silly, thank you very much for the gift sub to Aurora Bolt. Much appreciated, Aurora Bolt. Enjoy your emotes and chat, and welcome to Republic.